Hello guys, in this video, I am going to introduce you to mixed bread embedding large version 1 model and I will also show you how you can get it locally installed. This is an embedding model, which means that it is a type of model that converts items like words, products or users into dense vector representations, capturing the essence of their properties in a continuous vector space. These representations facilitate capturing similarities and relationship between items based on their context or interactions. So this is what this embedding model does. There are a lot of other embedding models, but this one really has done a wonderful performance on various benchmarks. Now, high quality text embeddings are pivotal in improving semantic textual similarity tasks which are crucial components in any LLM application. However, a common challenge existing text embedding models face is a problem of vanishing gradients, primarily due to their reliance on cosine function in the optimization objective, which has saturation zones. That is where this model uses a new novel angle optimized text embedding model called Angeli. The core idea of Angle E is to introduce angle optimization in a complex space. This novel approach effectively mitigates the adverse effects of the saturation zone in the cosine function, which can impede gradient and hinder optimization processes. Now here I have used two words. One is cosine function and the other one is gradient. A gradient is a mathematical calculation that determines the direction and magnitude of steps needed to adjust the model's parameters to minimize errors in predictions during training. Whereas cosine function is used to measure the similarity between vectors representing the cosine of the angle between them to evaluate how closely related two text embeddings are. I have done various videos where I go into the detail but this is the crux of this new model is now this model is not only uh, backed by full blown research but also is a, it has shown real state of the art performance or sota performance among other efficiently sized models it has outperformed closed source models like open ai's text embedding v3 which is the most commonly used embedding model out there at the moment enough theory this is the hugging face card of this awesome model. I really um, have gone through its card and its paper in detail and it really shows a lot of promise. I will also drop the link to this in video's description. But for now, let's go to our local system and try get installing it. This is my Ubuntu 22.04 and I have 1 GPU of 16 GB VRAM and 32 GB of RAM installed. Let me clear my screen and first thing we need to do is to install one of the prerequisite packages which is sentence transformer which I will be using to install and run this padding model. So let's install it first and you can see that it has installed it. Let's clear the screen and now let's fire up our Python interpreter and get rocking with it. Now. In the Python interpreter, the first step we need to do is to inst uh, import some of the prerequisite libraries from this module. So you can see I am importing this sentence transformer and then I am importing this cos underscore sim which stands for cosine similarity. Cosine similarity is a measure used to determine how similar two entities are and those entities could be words, items or documents irrespective of their size. And in the context of embeddings, which are vector representation of these entities, cosine similarity calculates the cosine of the angle between these two vectors. And the value ranges from minus 1 to 1, where 1 means the vectors are identical and 0 indicates orthogonality and no, no similarity. And minus 1 signifies complete opposite. It's a very popular metric, by the way, in machine learning and natural language processing. Okay. Now, once that's done, now let's load the model. And as I said, we are using this mixed bread one. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. 
and you can see that the size is just 670 million let's wait for it to load shouldn't take too long and then we need because we are doing a retrieval with it so i will for retrieval it has a specific prompt which we need to use which i will be pasting it after this gets finished do not take too long now that is done awesome there you go so it's all done now let's paste our specific prompt so this is the prompt which we need to get to give for retrieval and that's all we need to do and this says that represent this sentence for searching relevant passages that a man is eating a piece of bread because we are retrieving similar um, sentences to this a man is eating a piece of bread and let's now pass it a list or array of some of the other prompt which we will be searching for the similarity now let's generate or convert this docs list to embeddings or the numerical representation or vectors that is done so it's so similar and now let's get our similarities and we will be doing the similarities with the cosine similarity there you go and now let's print the similarities let me paste the command here and let's press enter there you go so you can see that it has produced a tensor of the similarities and now let's try to understand this output first just check what was our initial prompt so this is this is our initial prompt we were saying that the sentence to match is a man is eating a piece of bread now we are matching this with these four things now we are matching it with cosine similarity right so cosine similarity tells us that if the numerical represent if the result is one it means it is identical no difference at all but if it is minus one it means there is no uh, similarity similarity at all but if it is in between the if the value is closer to one it means that it is more similar if it, the value is closer to minus one it means it is less similar now if you look at the first item it says a man is eating food and the semantics are similar to what we have given here a man is eating a piece of bread that is why the first number is quite closer to one and then it says a man is eating pasta which goes 0.63 and then slightly because this third one is totally off so that is why it is 0.1 and then again there is a mention of man so it is slightly 0.3 of course i mean um, this is just a rough guide but you can see that this model is able to produce quite good results in my humble opinion and finally if you look at the evaluation of this model it is outstanding as of now this model has achieved sota performance for bird large size model on the mtap benchmark it outperforms commercial models like open ai's text embedding 3 large and matches the performance of model 20 times its size like the echo mistral 7 billion this model was trained with no overlap of mtap data by the way which indicates that their model generalizes well across several domains task and text length then you can check this benchmark data you have to scroll to the right to check it out and you can see that there are a lot of well-known model for example this gina one is quite popular but this uh, mix spread has even outperformed it on few of the benchmarks and of course there will be some uh, you know this is evolution this is still the first version there will be some limitation but i'm sure that this project looks quite promising so that's it guys this is how you install it and you use it let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching